Exercise 16. In this exercise, using Creole Parametric 5.0, we're going to take a look at some functionality with regards to families of parts. Uh, there's a second section to this that you'll find that we'll actually use a spreadsheet and we'll make a part from scratch. But in this case, let's say we want to take this model and make a couple variations of it, uh, or what they call family of parts. Uh, essentially what we're going to do, this one's the finished part, but perhaps we might want to actually have a variation where it's right out of the cast, or in this case a drop forging, without any of the machine features that you might find on the front area right here. And also we'll make a, a smaller version of this where we adjust the handle section as well as, I should say actually, well, the next section here. So let's begin. When working with families of parts, or some systems call them configurations, we could go underneath model intent here with the model open, and we go to family table. And over here, we could go ahead and specify additional variations of this part. And you can see it automatically names them. We have the ability to go in and actually change these names as well. Uh, for example, uh, we could have the, the file name or there's a common name. We're just going to change the file name. And I'm going to go ahead and name this one E16 underscore short neck. And then this one is going to be the cat, uh, we'll call it the cast part. Actually, technically, it's not really cast, but uh, we'll just give it that. And then this is the machine. Uh, really what we could call this is pre-machined. And then this is machined. And then the original will keep intact, whatever the name is. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead, uh, edit this. Actually, we'll, we'll go to uh, verify instance, and we can see the names of each part. Verify close and then we're going to go here and edit this. So uh, at this point you'll see we have the family table generic part here and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and see that we could actually add dimensions and features. So by clicking on this we know we want to change this dimension this and actually we want uh, this is controlled or the length of this is actually controlled by a plane so we'll click on the datum right here and we could click on that dimension and we'll see it pops up D25 for dimension 25 and then from here now we could click on features and we could select individual we could select individual features so select features and if we remove this top level feature, everything below it should automatically be suppressed as well. So we could click on that as one of the features. Um, we could also click on the handle section, like this is a feature, the actual text. Maybe we don't want that, or maybe we want to make variations of it. All right, and we could also click on the, the length of the handle. So as we go back to dimension, click on the handle, and there's our length. We could click on that and add that as well. All right, let's hit OK now. And we are we now see our table here. And so what we're going to do for the D25, that's actually the neck. So that's going to be the same for most of these, 1.75 and the pre-machine, 1.75. And then the short neck is going, we're going to go ahead and change that to 